All right, we're here at the salon. Woo! It's January 2017. You guys are not sharing your enthusiasm. <laughs> Come on, amp it up. <laughs> just got done with a long day of work, clearly. That's why we're all zombies. No, just kidding. We're actually really excited about 2017. We are, I'm trying to push the brand. I'm trying to get the name out there. I feel like it's getting out there. But on this video specifically, we wanna talk about New Year's goals, resolutions, what you're excited about, some of the current hair colors and trends, and kind of what we're currently doing here in the salon uh, in Laguna Beach, California. Now, if you're new to my channel, I specialize in hair color and hair extensions. And I created a method you may have heard a little bit about on social media called Natural Beauty Rose. Um, so we're just gonna go dive into content today and we're gonna talk about, what are we gonna talk about? Let's talk about hair trends and like what we're loving with color and that kind of thing. How do you guys feel about that? I feel like that's not what we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was New Year's goals. New Year's goals, okay. Well, we can start with New Year's goals. Stacey, you're up, what's your goal? We're filming right now. We're filming. <laughs> uh, building this year. Building. Go. No, wait, no, let's, touch, right. let's touch base on building. Like so many stylists, I feel like, even I still want to build. I want to build the brand. I want to help build for you guys. I want to just, just want to blow up in 2017. But I feel like building, it's like you, it's a oh, lot sorry, harder. I didn't know. Don't touch the <laughs> mic, Stacey. I was trying to see her. I can't build, but you don't have something to work. Do you need something to play with here? But no, I feel like building is like one of those things, it's more than just saying like, I'm gonna build, like you have to actually produce content when you're trying to build. And it's scary to like produce content because producing content means like, you have to get a little bit out of your comfort zone. You have to ask like every single client that sits in your chair to take 75 photos of their hair. And you just have to get more comfortable with posting like every single day and committing. So it's like, when you say, oh, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna focus on building. It's like, you literally like for me, I have to sit down and like write out like a plan almost. Like what am I gonna do to build and get there? So Stacy, what are you gonna do to build and get there? Um, well now <laughs> I didn't know we were getting this question asked. I <laughs> built up a completely different answer in my head. <laughs> well no, like you, I feel like you know the most random shit about everything. <laughs> well that's where I was gonna go. I okay, was gonna go there. Building, building and getting the brand out there more. What were we doing? <laughs> like, um, what do you call that when you're promoting? Yeah, you're a PR. Yeah, you're a PR. But I think no, I think that'll be good. Through doing PR, it'll like push you to do more of your own like stuff, and I think it'll be good. Yes, that answer. Um, <laughs> wow, you really nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> Ding yeah, dong. Oh, <laughs> So that's New Year's goal one. All right, let's let's take it to Brittany. Brittany's like new on the team, maybe. Yeah. This is her initiation it's video. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, my goal is a new hair because it's so sad. Oh, you you, you have to get hair if you want to work here, right? I know exactly, and that's why I need hair. So I gotta work here. Yeah, Brittany took my. I have a. Uh, I do classes. Called Big Money Stylist, <laughs> called BMS. Um, I'm not going to claim that I came up with that name, but it is called Big Money Stylist, and uh, it's something I do with my husband. And we do classes once a month, once a month here in Laguna Beach, California. And Brittany came out and she did our class, and I was really impressed with her. And I was looking for an assistant. And I'm like, guess what? Today you're coming out. You're going to work with the team. And we're going to we're going to see how it goes. So I know just talking to you on the phone, I talk to anybody who I do their hair on or anybody who works with me, I talk to them on the phone, I wanna feel them out. I, I literally wanted to create like the dream team, you know what I mean? I wanted like a good vibe in my salon and I wanted to have a team that cared about moving forward as much as I did. Um, and I definitely like lucked out with both Stacey and Val, they've been like amazing, gone above and beyond the mark. So now we got Brittany here and we're gonna, we're gonna see where this goes. <laughs> Big shoes to fill. <laughs> Big shoes. Yep. So, <laughs> but I, I think it's like our goal is like to build together. You know what I mean? You want to build, you want to build, you want to build, I want to build. All we're all at different levels, but the goal is to build and get natural and build the rows. brand more, get it more, more out there. Yeah, it'd be amazing. So I didn't hear that. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Val, what's your Don't goal? Really <laughs> oh, did the camera run out? <laughs> You're just getting really close. <laughs> Back it up, Daniel. <laughs> Um, my goal one is to not work Saturdays anymore. And I'm done. very close and to build more. I want to do like more extension. Why do you want to work and Saturdays? Because my family. Is that a lame answer? No. <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> I just got a Disneyland pass. <laughs> so no, I, I have big plans. 
I feel like... No, I've been working Saturday since I was 15, so I feel yeah. like I've like put in my time. And I spent a whole year last year like rebuilding, and now I want to kind of like edit it, edit back. Right. Not doing as many colors, giving more extensions. I want to get better at picture taking, and just putting myself out there and getting even further out of my comfort zone to get more clients. Um, I, yeah, no, I feel like, I remember when I stopped working Saturdays and literally, I feel like as a hairdresser, we just like, we just, you work Saturdays and everybody tells you, you just work your butt off and you work Saturdays and that's how it is and you put in your time. Yeah. And like I had kids and I have two little girls and I was like, I feel like I'm missing out. And I remember one day like literally like crying to my husband and I was like going to work and it was like a Saturday and I was like, I was like missing out on a soccer game or a birthday game, birthday game, a birthday party. <laughs> and, and I just was like, I hit my wall, I hit my limit. I literally like broke down and like started crying and I was like, I can't do it anymore. Like I'm fucking out. And he was like, reschedule them all. And I was like, I can't reschedule them all. I work Saturdays. That's what Silas do. And I, I remember I'm like, I went to work that day and I was so pissed all day and I'm like, oh, crying. I'm like, stupid ass clients. No, and it wasn't their fault. It was me. And I just yeah. had hit my wall and I'm like, I'm not going to do this anymore. And I, I, I just... He, he gave me permission. He said, then stop working Saturdays. And I literally, the next day, I text every single person on my books for the next, I was booked out like eight Saturdays in a row or something. And I'm like, I am sorry, your next week appointment, I'm, I'm not gonna be there. I'm not working Saturdays in there. But I have a job. I'm like, I have a job too. And I don't wanna work Saturdays anymore. And I feel like it takes a lot of people to, to get there to be like, I don't wanna be there. And even if you don't have kids, I feel like a lot of people don't want to work Saturdays and so like I'm giving every stylist out their permission that you can work your butt off and you still don't have to work Saturdays. That if you are good at what you do... Uh -oh. Dylan, if you're watching, this is a lie. We work Saturdays <laughs> all the time. Put in your time, but you I'm just saying... That. Like, we have the your, option. Put in your time, but I'm just saying when you hit that point where you put in your time, you can call the shots and call all the shots. Like your clients will cater to you and you can create your own little dream team, lifestyle, and whatever you want to do. So, good work team. I feel like that was, <laughs> mean. I feel like that was me talking, but it's cool. You guys, you guys are like in a little huddle. It's fun, and I'll just swing my hair around. <laughs> All right, one, one of the other things we wanted to talk about um, lately that we've been doing a ton in, in the salon is kind of some lower maintenance colors that are good for your hair, and just always, you always have like spot on hair. And I know in kind of the industry, there's a lot of people that do the whole six month color thing. I do not like to go six months with my own personal color. Like I constantly need a tweak. But the old school way of foiling where you'd come in every six weeks and do like a full bleach weave, like my hair cannot handle it. So I had to find like a happy medium and I'm gonna let Val share like some things we've been doing like on clients at the salon. I'm just coming in. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> And getting like the front right pieces and then doing the base, bringing it down and toning everything. So it's like a refresher. It's not yeah. getting everything done, but your color looks fresh. And we cater to a lot of people with fine hair mm -hmm. and fine hair needs stuff done to it every so often. Yeah. You can't go six months, your hair will be so flat. Oh, so, so bad. Just come in for a little refresher in between. Don't go six months without color. One of the things that I've been doing a ton of too is like I'll have clients come in, I know you guys, I'll alternate instead of like, if I want to do like a balayage and a foil with lightener, sometimes instead of doing like a whole head of that, I'll do some face framers around the face, but I still want dimension in the back. And what I'll do is I'll condition foil things. So I literally take like huge like chunks cause you don't have to be as a, like with bleach, you have to be like feather and be really careful with conditioner. And like, it doesn't really matter. Like I'm like doing some heavy slicing and weaving and then I put them in conditioner foils. And then when the lightener and everything is processed and everything's done, I'll go through with maybe a toner, a semi-permanent. I currently use Redken Shades EQ. I have forever, it's my favorite. And I'll go through and like pull random pieces, almost like I'm freehanding or balayaging in between the foils and stuff that's left out. So it has like this soft dimension and it looks really cool. Um, and that's super easy and low maintenance and it looks refreshed. And my hair personally, like I can't handle too much color, but I want like a tweak every six weeks, whether it's a base break, yeah. whether it's a toner, usually like one foil is my go-to. Even actually my bangs, I have to be super careful. Like, <laughs> yes, I'm like, these babies are actually sadly very long for me. And I don't, I only put lightener on them like That's once. weird because you haven't touched them in months. <laughs> what? I know, I did, I touched them by, well, I get, I'm, she's being sarcastic. I know, because I get really weirdly obsessive with things and I'll like do one and they're like, I want more. And I do six in like one month and then I stop for six months and I'm like, I'm good. 
So I had to like not think about it. But anyway, so low maintenance colors, um, doing, putting things in conditioner foils, running semi-permanents through, base breaks, less is more. And the cool thing with extensions too is I tell my clients all the time, um, they'll come in and be like, I just need a partial color. I'm like, oh, that's cute. I'm gonna put actually more of the work coloring your extensions because a lot of clients that have fine hair, or clients that wear extensions, all this hair you see is mostly extensions, so it seems strange to put so much work into the real hair and put very little work into the color into the extensions. So usually like clients like myself, I do very little actually on the real hair and then I do a ton of foiling in the extensions. And the hair we use, we actually can lighten, we can low light, we can smudge, we can tone, and we treat it like the real hair. And I'm not gonna tell you what hair we use because I'm actually coming out with a collaboration with a certain company that I use on a, uh, NVR Natural Beauty Rose hairline. So stay tuned to that. We're gonna have more information on that in the next year. That is actually one of my goals is bringing the, taking the brand another step forward, creating kind of a hairline, um, more education, building salon. But anyway, so that's, that's, uh, that's kind of our goals and those are some of the current trends of the salon. Anything else? Nothing? Brittany, you're so quiet! <laughs> You guys don't like being on camera? It's so fun. Oh, love it. You love you it? Tell. I knew it. <laughs> you enjoyed it. enough for us all. Oh, well, you're jerks. <laughs> 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 Screw you, happy New Year's. <laughs> all right. Okay, so that's that's a wrap today. We wanted to just say hi, happy January. Uh, what is it? January 10th? It's January. It's January. <laughs> Woo, it's still January. All right, happy January. If you are a potential client and you want to get natural beauty rose, um, you need to get down here to Laguna Beach and come to myself or one of my team members and we will give you fabulous, amazing hair. If you're interested in my education, you can head over to my blog, dkwstyling.com and get more information on that as well. So anyways, we'll see you guys. We'll see you next year. Next year? Next year? We'll see you. We'll, we'll see, see you soon. soon. We'll see you soon because you're going to book an appointment and you want to be fabulous. This year just started, so next year is very far away. <laughs> New, new year, so new year. You're not waiting list, people. Sorry. Uh, okay, just come down here like now and get some good hair. So the new year, you have a new you. <laughs> All right, bye. So you've seen a little bit of the process. Now come experience the process. All you need to do is click the link below. That's going to take you directly to my blog where you can go to my contact page and reach out to me. Whether you're a curious student or you're just another girl that loves hair, either way, don't be shy make sure to click on the link below.